Welcome to the Intel RAID Web Console demo. In this demo, you'll see many of the features of the tool and learn how to build a RAID 6 array. Simply log in using the administrative password, and you'll immediately see multiple views of your storage, including physical and logical views. By selecting the Intel RAID controller, you'll be able to see many of the maintenance and configuration actions associated with the RAID controller itself, enabling and disabling the alarm, flashing firmware, setting patrol read properties, starting a patrol read, adjusting the task rates associated with rebuild, patrol read, background initialization, schedule consistency checks, and start and stop those consistency checks. By selecting properties, you can learn about the controller, including rebuild rates, patrol rates, vendor IDs, just about anything you may need to know. By selecting any enclosure or chassis, you can learn about its properties as well, including graphical views of temperature, fans, and power supplies. RAID Web Console has a sophisticated set of event notifications. This allows you to be notified if the status of your storage or enclosures changes. This includes complete customization of e any emails that you would like generated if and when such problems occur. RAID Web Console can detect hundreds of potential events within the enclosure or storage and allow you to define exactly how you would like to be notified when each and every event occurs. Last, let's look at the event log. The event log is a detailed account of everything that's happened to the controller, whether you've chosen to receive an email or not. It's all here for your review. With our brief review of features complete, let's look at building a RAID array. Select the configuration wizard, and you'll see several assistance options to help you build your RAID array. Simply select the drives that you'd like to incorporate into the array and to add them to the pane on the right. When finished, push, to push Accept. Once we've selected the drives for our array, we need to set the attributes. In this case, we'll define a RAID 6 array. Push the Accept button and your proposed volume appears. Your array is now defined. To view the properties of this array, simply select the virtual disk. With definition complete, it is time to put the array controller to work. Start initialization tells the controller to begin building the array. Fast initialization tells it to perform initialization in the background, making the RAID volume immediately available in Windows. We are now done building our RAID array. Return to Windows and perform Windows standard operations to make your RAID array available for use. Thanks for watching the Intel RAID Web Console demo.